We have a new neighbor now calling the University of Mary Washington in Fredericksburg home. Dr. Troy Paino began as president this past July. It's our pleasure to welcome Dr. Paino to Virginia this morning. Great to see you, great to meet you. It's great to be here, very nice to meet you as well. And welcome to the neighborhood just up the road a little bit from Richmond and Fredericksburg. This transition to the East Coast is completely new for you. It is, uh, I'm a native Midwesterner. I spent my whole life in the Midwest, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, and most recently Missouri. Uh, but six months ago, I moved my family out to Virginia and we're very happy to be on the East Coast. July is, is kind of the height of uh, the heat, starts to get maybe a little warmer there in August, but what, have you, what do you think about settling into Mary Washington? Oh, we, we just have really enjoyed the transition. Uh, obviously, whenever you're moving a 16-year-old daughter with you uh, in the middle of high school, there's some stress and tension with, uh, with the move. Uh, but Fredericksburg has been such a welcoming community and Mary Washington is such a great place to be. We are so excited about the opportunity, love the history, uh, love the downtown of Fredericksburg. Uh, the campus is beautiful, but the people have really been amazing there. Talk about the, the past and really the present and future for University of Mary Washington. There's been a lot of evolution over the last few years and of course now we see so much that universities have such a synergy with the communities that they're in. Oh, that's so true. Uh, well, Mary Washington has a very proud history uh, going back to 1908 as an all women's uh, school and then uh, up until 1970, a part of the University of Virginia system as the all-women's counterpart to the all-male University of Virginia. And around 1970, uh, I like to say there was an amicable divorce, although I remind Terry Sullivan, we still have not received our alimony check from the <laughs> University of Virginia. Uh, and so really, uh, that's when we became co-ed and uh, Mary Washington College became the University of Mary Washington about 2004 as we expanded our graduate program offerings. Uh, very proud tradition as a residential liberal arts school, a public liberal arts school. Uh, and now we're really in a position where we are adapting that mission to 21st century realities. And you can see it really on the campus as well. We mix history with the present and the future very well at Mary Washington. You mentioned liberal arts and that's, uh, that, that perks uh, a lot of, peaks interest for a lot of folks because it really is a versatile offering. It really is. Uh, you know, I think now more than ever, having that broad-based education uh, that works on those higher order thinking skills, but also helps young people become good citizens, develops their character, is so critically important. Uh, and I think what we see in the 21st century is that young people have to be adaptable. We don't know what the jobs of the next 10, 15, 20 years are going to look like. Things are changing so quickly. And so I think it's important to really focus on those intellectual skills, but also those, uh, that, that character development that a liberal arts education is so much about. And it must be so interesting as a president of a university to find that balance because you have parents, you have students, prospective students, making this investment in their future and asking for things, but yet you balance that with what the needs will be. How do you find that balance? Well, you know, I, I think you use the right word. It's an investment. I think with a lot of focus on the cost of higher education, parents certainly, uh, you know, want to make those good investments uh, in, in their education. But we see that getting a college education is so critically important, more today than ever in terms of ensuring people's uh, ability to be successful. Uh, there's been recent research that just shows that uh, if there's any hope of young people today making a living comparable to their parents, they really have to have a college education. Uh, so I think it is an investment in the future and I think what's important for places like Mary Washington is always to be mindful not only of their past but to be very mindful of the future in terms of the world that these students are going to go out and live and work in and we try to do that at Mary Washington. And I know you must be very excited because when you have the opportunity to take a new opportunity coming in as, as a president, you must see a lot of potential for an evolution, for growth, for challenges. That's what attracted me. Uh, I got so excited about the opportunity at Mary Washington. Uh, I, was, I was a president of University of Missouri. I was very happy there, uh, having a successful run, but really it was this opportunity that caused me to move my family out to Virginia. Uh, Fredericksburg is an amazing place located right between Richmond and Washington, D.C., right off of 95. Uh, this beautiful historic town with wonderful restaurants, a lot of things to do. But then this campus was so amazing and I really invite people to come and take a look at this beautiful campus. What a hidden gem mm -hmm. uh, in Virginia. Uh, but what I really, what really attracted me were the people, uh, their passion, their commitment for the place. And I just thought the potential of Mary Washington was really unlimited and so I'm very excited to be a part of it. 
Well, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. And nice to have you Very here. Very nice to meet you as well. Thank as he said, Dr. Pano invited you to the campus. You can learn more about the University of Mary Washington by visiting the campus, 1301 College Avenue in Fredericksburg. Call 540-654-1000. Visit online, umw.edu, and you can find them on Facebook, University of Mary Washington.